understanding financial accounting, the balance sheet, where did my cash go? This is Ken Boyd, <clears throat> the owner of St. Louis Test Preparation. This is our email address and phone number. You'll see our website and our YouTube channel a little bit later in the presentation. Here is a good source, Principles of Accounting, a good website where we get some of our ideas for the video. Let's use an example of a catering business, Claire's Catering Business. Here's what Claire does. Claire provides catering services to businesses. Once meals are ordered, she prepares the food and delivers it. She also hires staff to serve the field at most events. Claire made an investment to start her business. Claire started her business on January 1st with an investment of $50,000. On May 1st, her accountant gives her a balance sheet for the catering business so she can see where she is financially. And here is that balance sheet. You can see uh, in italics we've got a group of line items called assets, liabilities, and stockholders equity. And you can see at the bottom of the page, Claire's capital account, that represents the capital that she invested in the business. Investment and capital mean the same thing in this case. So this is a standard balance sheet that you might see. But Claire's got a question, where did my cash go? If you go to the slide previously, you'll see that there's no longer $50,000 in cash in the business. The balance is now lower. Most businesses look at cash first. Why? Because cash is the engine that drives the day-to-day -day business. No cash means no food purchases, no gas for the delivery truck. But Claire shouldn't panic because the cash went somewhere. And that process, we're going to go over here down the road. Another thing you should know about the balance sheet. The balance sheet is a snapshot of a point in time. You will always see a date on the balance sheet. The income statement, which we'll discuss later, covers a period of time. If you use QuickBooks, you'll notice that the balance sheet is always one date has to be entered, an income statement, a period of time, a from to period of time has to be entered in QuickBooks. There's a basic formula, assets equals liabilities plus equity, and they have to balance. As the name implies, the report must balance. Specifically, the asset section must equal liabilities plus equity, and they must stay in balance during the year. Put another way, the stuff the business has, the assets, are claimed. And there's two people who have a claim on these assets, either creditors, that's what the liability section represents, or owners, which is the equity section. If the business closed, all of the assets would go to either creditors or owners, depending on what claims they had on the assets. Good way of remembering the balance sheet. Now the term current. For our purposes, current means 12 months or less. It may mean a fiscal year, a business year for some other businesses, but we'll say 12 months or less. <coughs> Excuse me. We'll use this term to distinguish between current and long-term assets on the balance sheet. On a more detailed balance sheet, those would be divided up depending on whether they were current or not. Current assets are cash or items that will be converted to cash within 12 months. All other assets are long-term. The liability section, liabilities that will be paid in cash within 12 months, all other liabilities are long-term. So a long-term debt that you're not paying in cash within 12 months. Maybe you've got a loan on a vehicle. A part of that would be a long-term liability. Most small business owners pay the most attention to the income statement. They're most concerned with how profitable they are. And there's a formula for the income statement. Revenue minus expenses equals net income or profit. But let me caution you. Profitable but at what expense? Being profitable does not necessarily mean the company will be healthy long term. For example, your sales are growing, but your customers are paying later and later. The result is you're generating more profit but collecting cash more slowly. Are you better off? And the question is, do you have enough cash for the next month? Because if sales grow, 
but your cash is slowing. Cash collections, your receivables are going up and your cash collection is slowing down, you may actually be worse off. That's the end of part one of our lecture. You'll find part two on YouTube. Our channel is Ken Boyd STL, all one word. You can register for live tutoring and chat sessions at stltest.net, our website. Here's our phone number and our email address. We'll see you next time.